Scene three continued. You will do well to listen to him, King, if what he says is sensible, and you, Haman, must listen to your father. Both speak well. You consider it right for a man of my years and experience to go to school to a boy? It is not right if I am wrong, but if I am young and right, what does my age matter? You think it right to stand up for an anarchist? Not at all. I pay no respect to criminals. Then she is not a criminal. The city would deny it to a man. And the city proposes to teach me to, how to rule? Ah, who is it that's talking like a boy now? My voice is the one voice giving orders in this city. It is no city if it takes orders from one voice. The state is the king. Yes, if the state is a desert. Pause. This boy, it seems, has sold out to a woman. If you are a woman, my concern is only for you. So, your concern in a public brawl with your father. How about you in a public brawl with justice? With justice? when all that I do is within my rights. You have no right to trample on God's right. Completely out of control. Fool, adolescent fool, taken in by a woman. You'll never see me taken in by anything vile. Every word you say is for her. Quietly, Quietly darkly, and for you, and for me, and for the gods under the earth. You'll never marry her while she lives. Then she must die, but her death will cause another. Another? Have you lost your senses? Is this an open threat? There is no threat in speaking to emptiness. I swear, you'll regret this superior tone of yours. You are the empty one. If you were not my father, I'd say you were perverse. You girl struck fool. Don't play at words with me. I am sorry, you prefer silence. Now, by God, I swear, by all the gods in heaven above us, you'll watch it. I swear you shall. To the servants. Bring her out. Bring the woman out. Let her die before his eyes. Here, this instant, with her bridegroom beside her. Not here. No, she will not die here, King. And you will never see my face again. Go on raving as long as you've a friend to endure you. Exit, Haman. Gone, gone. Creon, a young man in a rage is dangerous. Let him do, or dream to do, more than a man can. He shall not save these girls from death. These girls? You have sentenced them both? No, you are right. I will not kill the one whose hands are clean. But Antigone? Somberly. I will carry her far away, out there in the wilderness, and lock her, living in a vault of stone. She shall have food, as the custom is, to absolve the state of her death. And there let her pray to the gods of hell. They are, they are only her god. They are her only gods. Perhaps they will show her an escape from death. Or she may learn, though late, that piety shown the dead is pity in vain. Exit Crayon. End scene three.